Hello Emerson families, it's Miss Steinacher. I'm going to quickly walk you through the binder we'll be using starting this next week um, for our work. If your child was in lower elementary last year, they're going to be pretty familiar with a binder. There are a few things that are a little bit different, but I'm confident that they're going to pick it up really fast. If you're a first year or new to Emerson, then I want to make sure you understand what's in the binder. Your child might need a little bit more support in the beginning, but I do promise that they can do this. And together, we're gonna to make it work. So let's look at our binder. Some of them have covers. Your child is welcome to decorate a cover with their name or spend some time just drawing if they'd like, and then slide it in here. Inside your binder, there should be some important papers on this side. One of those goes over the first great lesson, which we will talk about this week. Another one is a lunch form that is very important. So you might wanna look over those too. Right here is your child's work plan. Now I have multiple groups of work plans in here, so that's why I have more than one, but you should just have one work plan. It will tell you the week and the group. We've named the groups different things, and that will show up on the Canvas course that your child is in. On Canvas, each day will match exactly what is in the work plan, with a few typo exceptions that will make sure are made clear. So your child on Monday will be responsible for the activities listed here. Each of these activities is behind the appropriate tab and listed in Canvas. So when they click on the schedule in Canvas, it's kind of like their virtual work plan. They can go there to get it and click through on Canvas and then find the corresponding paper in the binder. They could do the papers and then check Canvas, but we're gonna need them to have access to their computers and their binder at the same time. This will allow for them to watch a video lesson, do the paper packet, um, and then upload anything that they would, might need to upload. So these activities with the Canvas circle are the ones where you have to submit that something on Canvas. Other than that, they are working in their binders. At the end of a packet, there will be an option for them to show their, the part that they're the most proud of from their packet. Um, and that's when they can show us their paper packet work. But we wanted to eliminate the amount of videos that students were having to record um, in hopes that this can make them a little bit more independent. So let's look at this day. For this student in group one, they're gonna complete the short A activity and they are gonna put something in Canvas on that. They don't have anything listed in these two categories. They will later on, but for this day they don't. And that's okay. For numeration, they'll do numeration set for card one. In Canvas, there's a video lesson that they can follow exactly with the paper packet and the materials that they have available to them. They'll complete the first card. They do not have to put anything into Canvas. They can go check Canvas and see that they've done it, but that is it. They have Facts Edition Set 1, Card 1. For the beginning of each set, there is a video. There's generally one from YouTube and then one that we have made to show different versions of the lesson. The ones we've made, we're trying to use just the materials at the disposal of the children. So just the materials that we have given them in hopes that it will eliminate any confusion or any unnecessary steps. Operations edition set one, card one. There'll be a video lesson and then the paper packet. And then for cultural, there's a grandfather rock lesson. If you go to the cultural tab, you'll notice there's not a paper here. That is just a lesson to watch and listen to. There's not always a follow-up. Um, after your child completes it, they can use their highlighter and highlight it on their work plan. That is something that we do in the classroom. Um, if they don't have a highlighter, they can just use a marker. In each assignment in Canvas, we are trying to have the directions from the paper packet read to your child in hopes that they will be able to follow along as independently as possible. Um, and we'll have a video about that as well. So the materials should be in the box. The papers for this week will all be behind the appropriate divider. And they should say things like group one week of September 28th, fax edition set one. So it shows you what you need, the bead box and your paper packet. So you can take it out, you'll solve the problems. Watch the video first, work on card one. When you see card two, you can stop and do that another day.
in each packet when you see a stop sign that says either complete the quick check or the final check in Canvas, that's when you know one of these circles is there. That means you need to go do something on the computer and submit an activity that does not have paper or that shows your paper activity. Please feel free to reach out to your child's teacher if you have any questions. We wanna make this as streamlined and as simple for you and your child as possible. Um, we greatly appreciate your feedback and your assistance and your willingness at this time um, for us to figure this all out together. So if there's anything we can do to make it easier for you or your child to navigate or use, um, please do not hesitate. We can adapt anything at any time. We're all building this together and trying to figure it out as we're building the plane while we're flying it, if you will. Um, so we are open to suggestions and input um, and feedback because we wanna make this as smooth for your student and for you as possible. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We will go over this with your child um, on Monday so that they know what to do in hopes that we will be able to provide very targeted support. This takes a while to implement in our physical classrooms. It's going to take a while to implement virtually from a distance. So let's work together, communicate as much as you need to, um, and let's find a way to make this successful for everyone. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing your child soon. Thank you.